The Line 6 HX Stomp, can you combine other pedals with it? Let's find out. As some of you know, I recently purchased the Line 6 HX Stomp, and I've been playing around with it, experimenting, and working to incorporate it into my pedal board. And I've got a couple of other videos demoing it. And I've gotten comments and questions on those videos like... Hey Bill, does the HX Stomp take other pedals very well? And so that's the question I'd like to answer on this video. Does the HX Stomp take other pedals? In order to demo, I've got a patch set up and here's what it sounds like. All right, and that is basically a Fender style clean amp model put into a Marshall 4x12 cabinet and I've incorporated some delay, dual delay and Ganymede reverb into the patch. All right, nice. But I want more, and you've got to be careful when you want more with the HX Stomp because there are only six slots for effects. So what I decided to do in order to conserve my effects slots in the HX Stomp was to move a compressor and an overdrive into real pedals running into the front end of the Stomp. And that's because I almost always use a compressor and almost always like to have an overdrive in my signal chain. So I've got my Wampler Ego compressor set up. My guitar is going right into the Wampler. Here's the sound without the compressor and the delay. Okay, let me engage the compressor. And without. No, I don't know. I think that sounds pretty good. Okay, you can hear that squishy, spongy, compressory kind of thing going. All right, next up is an overdrive. And uh, again, it's the Strymon um, Riverside. And I've got it set to a fairly low amount of gain. And I've got a fair amount of mids set up. So it's kind of a thick sounding delay. Here's what that sounds like. <laughs> Right, not bad. And if I add in the compressor with the um, overdrive, this is what I get. And of course, if I roll off the volume on the guitar, and if I take the compressor out, So pretty cool. So I've got a lot of options here for adjusting my tone with these two pedals, pulling them out, the functions out of the HX Stomp. Now, how does it sound if I combine the outboard pedals with the internal delay and reverb? Let's check that out. <laughs> what you think, but I think that sounds pretty good. As a matter of fact, I am finding the response of the pedals to be very similar uh, to putting these pedals in front of a real amp. So that's pretty cool. One of the really nice things about the HX Stomp, and I believe this is also true of the full Helix and the Helix LT, is that the input has some options. 
One is you can run it at instrument level or line level. So if you've got some really hot effects, you can drop it back to line level so it can take that extra signal. In addition, the input also has a variable impedance setting that allows you to really tweak the sensitivity of the input. So again, you can kind of play around with that to get a tone and a sensitivity on the input that you like that works well with your pedals. I really like using this concept with the HX Stomp. Um, again, that way I can save my six internal effects um, slots for uh, reverbs, for choruses, for delays, maybe a pitch shifter, although I'm not big on the pitch shifter on the HX Stomp. I haven't mentioned that yet, but not big into the pitch shifter. But whatever you do like, um, you've got more effect slots to combine those effects together into your patch and keeping some of the functions outside of the HX Stomp. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. I'd love to have you on board as I continue to explore the HX Stomp and other pedals, play some music for you, and talk about ambient guitar techniques. And as always, I'll see all of you on the next video.